Okay, so here's the deal, Billy. So I've been working with you for a while. We're working on your swing, but I want to play. So I want you to give me a little lesson. So I want you to watch me. And you, you made a comment when I said that. You said, I don't think I've ever seen you swing. Because <laughs> right. every time I've watched you swing, it's a drill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to hit a couple. And then I want you to tell me, looking at me, what, what, would you, what would you fix? What would you do? Right, okay. So I'm coming to you. I'm Joe Smith, whatever. So just watch my swing and tell me whatever, what you would tell me to do. Yep. All right, so I'll just... <clears throat> So I first go with this, you know, I'm old and my back's tight, so these first few might not be very good. Right, that's all right. <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> Do, your best. <laughs> Do your best. Okay, one more. All right. Okay, so we had a couple different shots there. The first thing that, first one went right a little bit, second one was pretty straight, and the third one went left. All right. So, when I'm, I'm noticing with you, rhythm's good, setup's pretty good. Um, your upper body's out racing your golf club a little bit. Okay. So once you get once you get to the top of the swing, your center's taken off just enough to throw your hands out and the face is getting behind you a little bit. Okay. So we'll take you to the top of the swing. Okay. So again, when you feel your feel your transition here. Mike, you want to feel your hands go down a little bit more rather than your your chest turning and your hands working out. Okay. So you're going to feel like your hands go down a little more so the face can start to work out towards the golf ball so you don't have to catch the face up. All right. A couple practice swings first. There you go. There you go. Better, worse, the same? Much better. Up, down, there you go. Up, down. There you go. That was really good. That was really good. So I was getting a little top heavy. Yeah. So the transition was off. A little bit, yep. So we got here and be before you could feel like your foot was in the ground, we started getting this way, which got your hands out then you got to catch the face up. So what you want to do from there is feel your, your foot gets in the ground. And when your foot gets in the ground, it allows your arms to drop, your hands and your arms to drop. So you're, they're going to feel like they go down more rather than out. Okay. <clears throat> so here's what's interesting, Billy. I stand here and teach that all day long. Right. <laughs> right. And then I show up and I start hitting balls. I do the same. It's typical how you're not your own best teacher sometimes. Right. Um, and I fought that little lean mm -hmm. for my whole career right. when I got into some things. So if I'm not real careful with it when I start every day, it starts just a little. Sure. Yep. All right. So. Okay. Go to the top, Mike. There you go. Stay right there. Okay, so once you get here, now feel your foot in the ground there. There you go. So what you're feeling, how you feel, feel back a little bit. You yeah. feel that. So the, the ground pressure is what's making your hands go down rather than you getting to the top and turning your shoulders. Okay. There you go. There you go. Is that right? Mm-hmm. There you go. Better? Yep. Got a little, little ahead of it, upper body there. Okay. So go to the top again, Mike. Good, there. So when you put your foot in the ground, let the let the face catch up to your sternum here. Okay. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ah, uh-huh. So what do I owe you? 
<laughs> checks in the mail, right? <laughs> yeah. But that's that's interesting because again, like I say, that's would be a fundamental thing, change right. of direction that I'm working on every day. But even I have to pay attention to it because those first few balls I hit, I just kind of okay, I'm just going to hit it. Right. Which normally, if I practiced, I wouldn't start with that much swing. But it's interesting what you found because that's that little move, that mm -hmm. late transition, yeah. haunted me my whole career. Not when I started, but when I got into instruction. And the reason is they identified a position that I hate, which was the top. So I kept trying to get to the top and then go. Right. So mm -hmm. as soon as I started trying to get to the top, then I'd start transitioning this way, and then this my lower body would try to catch up with my upper right. body. Mm -hmm. So let me try something here. Tell me if this looks better. Yeah, it's funny. We teach it all day long, and we get ourselves on camera, and we're doing the same darn thing that our students are doing. Yeah, just less levels. Yeah, right. So, okay, so if I do this, so if I, if I pretended like I hit a baseball, would that, when you start talking about <clears throat> the transition of my shoulders, is that more... I know it's on a different plane, but is that more what you want? Yeah, absolutely. So if, even before you're done with the with the backswing, you, you let your your lower body help your transition, so your arms can come down and it takes the pressure off your shoulders. So then, if I stood up here and I did the same, then that's better. Boy, there. that was way better. Well, so I need to go hit some baseballs. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, pal. Thank you.